Some exciting changes are coming to Hermitage in 2024. The Hermitage Wheatland merger officially takes place next week. New businesses are arriving and you can expect some redevelopment within the city. The director of business and development in Hermitage, Mark Longetti, is here right now to talk about all those changes, what we can see in the new year. Thank you for joining me right here. So on pleased to be Fun. here. Thank yes. you. Yeah, you know, we like to share good news. So this mm. is really interesting stuff. Hermitage Wheatland merger, though. Let's start with that. Not a lot of huge changes, but talk about the advantages that this brings for not only the folks in Wheatland, but also Hermitage. Sure. So the city property taxes in Hermitage are 80% lower what, from what Wheatland was. So businesses and residents that own properties in the Wheatland section of what is now Hermitage will see that 80% property tax reduction. That's really helpful, particularly for the business industry. You know, there's a nice industrial section in Wheatland and they're gonna experience that relief and we're excited to help those businesses grow. Yeah, I remember on the ground floor, some of those meetings about this merger, it's taken a little bit of time, of the formalities and the vote. So are you think that this will get all ironed out in the new year pretty smooth? It, it will. So most of the actions that need to be taken have already been taken. And so effective January 1st, the major merger is effective. Okay. Um, and, you know, we're, we're excited. Uh, Hermitage has really robust city services professional staff, we can help these businesses. We've had a good track record of attracting state grants and we can help them grow. And we also see some growth with Joy Cone. Tell us how the plant is expanding and what's happening behind the scenes there. So Joy's a really exciting uh, company, largest manufacturer of ice cream cones in the world. They've now gotten into producing cookies that are ground up and put into cookies and cream ice cream. Yum. And then wafers, <laughs> right? Wafers for your ice cream sandwiches. So they continue to grow in 2024. They're expanding their cookie plant, 221,000 square feet expansion, $40 million investment. And ultimately, we expect Joy will employ 1,000 employees within the next few years. And is that in addition to what they already have? Or is Correct. It'll, it'll add about 150, 200 employees to their current uh, a group of employees. Uh, it's, an, it's a completely employee stock ownership company. It's a great company to work for. So you're actually a part owner of the company. And David George, the CEO, told me a few years ago, he said, you know, in the last couple of years, we had 20 millionaires retire, and they don't look like me. They're people that work on the shop floor. Oh, that's great So news. what a wonderful company to work for. Yeah, and good news that we're helping to supply the local economy with our ice cream codes and all of our ice cream orders. Good to know about that. Now, you mentioned to us earlier uh, that you're hoping to redevelop the Shenango Valley complex. So what are your proposals, your vision for this? Sure. So the Shenango Valley Mall, it's a, a distressed mall. We've seen that happen to a lot of malls. Two out of three anchor tenants have left. Uh, the good news is that a developer bought the property, Butterfly Holdings. They invested $7 million in the purchase, and the city is working hand in glove with them. We want to develop what's called a mixed use town center concept. So, Hermitage is kind of a unique city. It used to be a township at one time. We don't really have a downtown area. And in our strategic plan, we heard from stakeholders that they really want to have a town center, a place where people can gather, walk. Uh, we expect uh, restaurant, retail, we ultimately expect some residential housing, uh, maybe some office. And then the city has state grant dollars and we want to develop a 10 acre parcel that will be gathering space, you know, perhaps miniature golf, a splash pad, a uh, place where music can be uh, heard, you know, a place for people to gather and enjoy uh, different events. Oh yeah, you can put all kinds of programming into that once mm. it's there. And um, how long do you think before you may get uh, substantial progress on getting those proposals and plans into some official capacity? Sure. So 2024 is really the year we expect things to start to happen. Uh, it's been delayed over the last couple years through litigation with J.C. Penney's, the last anchor tenant. Uh, you'd think, you know, Pennies should be a part of it all, but the problem was Pennies had a lease that went back to the 1960s that gave them veto power over everything. Uh, the courts have finally ruled that that lease is void. Uh, that's been finally litigated. And so now the, the developer is ready to start. And, and actually what they'll do is they'll demolish the mall building and then rebuild uh, individual structures in the out parcels, the restaurants, the retail, uh, and then the city looks to develop the interior section, perhaps with housing and that uh, gathering space. Pretty incredible. We're going to watch to see how that takes shape in the new year. Really appreciate your time joining us here at five. Oh, my, my pleasure. Uh, we're excited to have the opportunity to talk about Hermitage. Oh, yeah.